Hey guys, this is Caleb Waller, London Caleb. Um, I was just recording this on my Sony camera and the battery died, so now I've had to switch to the uh, Panasonic instead. So um, hopefully this camera battery won't die either. But anyway, this is a trades package uh, that I've done with my great friend on here, Joe. He's got his own channel, FGV112 is back. And uh, before I start, I just want to say this is probably the best package I've ever received from anybody. It was, seriously was. Uh, opening it, it was like Christmas came early. And I'm not just saying that because of uh, the things that he's given me as uh, freebies, but the fact that a lot of time and effort has gone into making this package and sending it off to me, as well as actually a lot of money has gone into um, sending this to me as well. I'll show you in a minute just how much it cost. Uh, just like last time's package, it cost a fortune, over 50 euros. This one, almost the same price. Uh, so a lot of time, effort, and um, of course, the actual generosity is, um, well, just it's off the scale. He tells me that I'm the uh, most generous guy on YouTube. Well, I'm sorry, but you're the most generous guy, Joe. Um, so anyway, let me begin. Uh, so as you can see, 45 euros to send that um, because it was sent with EMS express delivery which is very expensive uh, and it came in that huge box so literally everything was all uh, packaged individually all neatly it was seriously like Christmas came early for me so um, let's start off with the note upside down okay. it says Hey Caleb, lol, I bet you were expecting this parcel to be much smaller than this. Yeah, I was, seriously dude, um, just, you know, incredible. Uh, well, sell anything that you don't need for money, please, as there's no point something keeping something that doesn't come in use for you. Most of the things in this parcel should make up for the gold PSP not having a box, even though I do have the uh, box separately to put that in, and the fact that the PSP is more than likely gold-plated. Hope things are well in Spain and it will be nice if we could trade again sometime. Definitely. Um, a big thumbs up for me. Thank God this parcel arrived safely. Cheers. FGV112 is back. Uh, so yeah, thank God this came really quickly as well. Um, he'll know the reason why. Um, but anyway, so um, the first thing is this Skylanders Giants official game guide. Uh, this costs £13 and I'll show you on the back, but I'm just covering up my details and his. So... Um, yeah, if you don't believe me, you don't. But this did cost £13, and I really, really actually find this interesting uh, because this game has become huge uh, over the past year or two since it was released, and uh, I've seen all the little action figures on eBay sell for huge amounts of money. And um, just reading about this, really fascinating stuff. So that'll be definitely something I'll read, and it might even convince me to um, buy the game. I don't know, we'll wait and see. Uh, what else did I get? This 20p came in uh, the DVD of The Running Man, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, so that was um, a nice little bonus. Behind Enemy Lines, I've never seen this film before, but it does look really interesting. Explosive action, says the sun, so um, I don't know, maybe um, I might watch that today. It's a very young Owen Wilson as well, so I'm guessing early 90s, around the time I was born, or mid 90s. Uh, I also like the fact that they put their own, because these are from Ireland, they stick their own certification stickers over the um, BBFC version from England, so um, that's quite unusual and funny. Blade Runner, the final cut, two disc special edition. Now, I do have the Ultimate Collector's Edition in a tin um, with all versions, but the fact that this is one of my all-time favourite films, I'm really happy to have this version separately on a two-disc um, edition. I mean, just look at the artwork alone. If you haven't seen this film, you don't know what you're missing out on. Do not think that just because this film is 30 years old, it's going to be um, a 30-year-old looking film. This film today still looks futuristic, um, more futuristic than some of the futuristic films that come out, if that makes sense. This is just... An absolutely amazing film. I've seen it about five times. Um, I don't want to watch it too often because if I watch it too many times, then it will sort of spoil it. But every time I do watch it, um, it's really a treat. And I have seen the final cut, and it's a little bit different to the other versions, but they're all pretty much the same thing, which is a few different um, things done with them. But thank you so much, dude, for sending me that. Resident Evil Outbreak for the PS2, uh, disc only, but... Uh, I do love Resident Evil games and the movies, and I have a 60 gigabyte PS3, so I will be kicking some of this in later and uh, 
seeing what that game's like as I've never played it before. Populous, brand new and sealed for PC. Uh, you can see it's got the old Windows logo, so I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, my laptop will handle the graphics on this. Uh, it does say down here Pentium 133 MHz, so uh, yeah, definitely um, try this out and see what it's like. Uh, really interesting. Thank you so much for sending me that. Uh, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. Uh, I really enjoyed Uncharted on the PS Vita, so um, to have this on the PS3 is absolutely amazing because I've never played any of the other Uncharted games before. Uh, I've just played the PS Vita version and ever since I completed it I really wanted to play the other versions but I've never had enough money to buy these. I know they're cheaper now than when they first came out but you know even just to get these PS3 games for free is incredibly generous. So this is boxed and complete in mint condition uh, so I can't wait to start playing this game. Uh, so thank you so much you read my mind. And not only that, but we have Uncharted 2 as well, boxed to complete in mint condition. Uh, and apparently this is supposed to be the best one. Uh, there's about three or four of them out there, but this is the best one, apparently. And I can't wait to play this one. I will play them in order. Or I might not, I might actually play them backwards. I might actually start with this one. Um, I just These are so good, these games. The graphics are amazing, the storyline's amazing. A bit like um, a mixture of Prince of Persia with Tomb Raider and... Well, I think I'm trying to remember, but the, the elements of those two games mixed with some others as well. Um, really, really good. Um, if you haven't played those, you don't know what you're missing out on. Super Mario Brothers for the NES, and I love the fact that this came in an unofficial game box. Um, please do let me know where you got this game from, uh, because I just find it really unusual that it comes in this um, pre-printed box. Uh, and the fact it's not like a replica box, it actually is like an unofficial, it says unofficial, so it's like it came from a game show or something. Uh, but the game itself is genuine and uh, it's one of my all-time favourite games, so definitely be keeping that forever. Thank you so much. The Running Man, which he did put a note in saying it's a really good film, and I have actually seen this. It's one of my favourite Arnold Schwarzenegger games, uh, believe it or not games, films, believe it or not. And again, this is actually a futuristic film. Unfortunately, it's not as futuristic as Blade Runner. The, um, the sands of time, as they say, you know, you can tell it's about, you know, an 80s film and it's like 20 years old. So it was good for its time, but it's still worth watching today if you haven't seen it yet. So, um, yeah, a really good film by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, um, he says this game doesn't work, but with a little TLC I'll try rubbing a banana on it or putting some toothpaste on the disc and seeing if I get it to work because these, these games are supposed to be really good and I've never actually played this one. I had it on the PS3 and didn't actually bother playing it, so um, I might actually play this one, seeing as I've got another copy of it. Um, so I played the first one which was really good and I've played a demo of Black Ops but I've never played this, so again... All of these games are wanted, needed, and will be collected for. They're not going to be sold or thrown in the bin. Um, and this one as well, an absolutely amazing game, uh, so generous. This is brand new and sealed for the PS Vita. This costs a fortune in the shops. Um, so how you've given this to me, dude, uh, I'm just absolutely speechless. And it's Portuguese. And the funny thing is, is that it's got the security seal on it. So uh, I was hoping you can see that. So do they make that for all of the games in Portugal? They don't do it here in Spain. Um, fulfilled by Amazon. But yeah, uh, I'll, get, I'll definitely give this one a go. I don't care what language it's in. I do understand Spanish, so um, this can't be too hard to understand. So thank you again. Incredibly generous. Um, this is just all a dream. I'm, I'm just taking it in slowly because there's so much more to show you. Uh, we've got some PS2 games. We've got Tony Hawk's Underground 2, disc only. And we've got Eden disc only and we also got behind Tony Hawk's um, True Crime Streets of New York I think it's called all in excellent condition thank you so much for them uh, I will be actually playing them as well because I've got the 60 gigabyte PS3 so I've got a really busy day ahead of me uh, we've got Double Dragon for the Game Boy Advance I think it's um, a replica but I've never played it before really interesting so um, I'll look forward to playing that thank you so much dude some unusual logo sign things here. This is from Rover, uh, which I don't believe are actually in business anymore. And one for Dundee United. So, um, again, those be uh, little tiny little knickknacks like that really make the package more unique. So, thank you so much. 
Uh, this is probably the one of the best things he's ever done. Uh, a 50 euro note. This is real currency. A 50 euro note. Um, last time he gave me 20 euros, which was incredible enough. And he's also given me like a euro or five euros. And I thought to myself this time he might give me five or ten euros if I'm lucky. But I was not expecting 50 euros. Thank you so much, dude. I really hope you've got enough uh, money to um, buy a laptop with. I hope you did not um, give me that 50 euros and you've gone without. Because if you have, just let me know and, you know, I'll send you something back of high value. Um, so just let me know. But um, thank you so much. Incredibly generous for that. Um, dude, really big thumbs up. It really does help me out. Um, there are some users on here who think that I'm rich and everything, but as a matter of fact, I'm struggling with money at the moment because I haven't got a proper job. Um, and I know it's my problem. It's not anyone else's problem to, um, you know, give me currency or whatever. But it's so nice that you've got people like Joe who um, who will help me out because we're really good friends. And I help him out. He helps me out. And thank you so much, dude, uh, for that. Another little inlay that he's given me to go with my Gran Turismo um, factory fault um, overlay thing. Really generous of you, dude. Thank you so much for that. Uh, so before we, this is um, what I've got for trade, basically. This is what I've traded with him uh, before, but we'll move on to that in just a second. A Samsung mobile phone, which he says doesn't work, but I'm confused, dude. Why doesn't this work? Because this looks brand new. This is in brand new condition. Is it because you haven't charged the battery or... Is there something else with it? I mean, I'm going to buy a charger off eBay and see if I can charge it up and see what happens. But it's definitely a good backup phone for me to use. I really like the keyboard on this. So thanks so much, dude, for giving that to me. Big thumbs up again. And he's given me um, an iPod shuffle. You know, oh my God. Uh, you know, I don't know if this is the official iPod shuffle or not. I'm not going to say it's fake when I don't know. I haven't done enough research yet. But this, to me looks like a real iPod shuffle and these are like you know a lot of money in the shops and I don't have a proper mp3 player I just uh, I listen to music mainly through my laptop so to have this really really generous so thank you so much dude for giving this to me big thumbs up again really really happy and pleased with that okay so this is the actual item believe it or not none of this was actually part of the deal this was just all extra so we finally got into the part now uh, of what I actually traded him, uh, what I wanted for trade. So I've got a gold PSP. I already have a 1000 model, but this is a 2000 model in gold. And there's good and bad about this. So I'm going to get the bad over and done with. The bad thing is that this is a, um unofficial case. Uh, so he said to me, you know, it's, it's gold plated. It's not gold plated. Uh, this is just an unofficial case. This is not real. Uh, somebody's refurbished this. I did actually look at the eBay listing that he got this off and he paid a fortune for this. Uh, something about 80 euros. Uh, so, you know, it is a lot of money. But at the same time, it's hard to get a PSP 2000 uh, in this colour. This is exactly the same colour as the 1000 Champagne Gold model. So that's the good thing. That's the good news. I'm really happy with it. Um, it is really good. It needs a bit of a charge. Uh, the condition's great, obviously, because it is a refurbished model. There's no serial number on it, obviously, because the whole casing's been swapped. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, there is a, Some of the buttons don't work properly. They'll, I'll have to unscrew it all and re-screw it back in and fix that. Nothing to do with him at all. Not his fault. Um, you know, it's obviously the seller who he's bought this off. But at least it works. And I've got a box waiting to put this in. So thank you so much, dude. Um, really good addition to my collection. And it also comes with a demo disc, uh, lanyard, protective cover, Killzone Liberation, which is a really good looking game. I've just kicked it in actually to uh, make sure that the system works and it does. So absolutely fantastic. And it comes with a charger. So that's everything, guys. My battery is just about to die out and I've got about 54 seconds left to um, finish off the video because I've got the 15 minute limit. Absolutely fantastic package. Please go and check him out. Subscribe to him. Really, really generous package, dude. Thank you so much. And there will be something on the way for you now. I will be posting something today as a little bonus. Uh, it's just a little something, but uh, quite valuable. So thank you so much, dude, for that. And um, until next time, guys, take care and bye for now.